You know, Benedict Cumberbatch being at TIFF was a huge deal, and I was only able to check out one of his two films, but nonetheless, I was still excited to see it. So here we go. We're going to jump into the review of the one of the two films that he did have this year at the film festival, and this one is The Electrical Life of Louis Wayne. What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today for another review today We're going to be reviewing the film the electrical life of Lewis Wayne Which is part of the gala presentation category this year at Toronto International Film Festival 2021 now yeah, Benedict Cumberbatch was a star high caliber guest. I mean come on now We, we all know who he is um, I was aware that he had two films that were going to be here at the festival, but I was only able to check out one of them. But I was still very excited to see what the film was about. And this film was about Louis Wayne. It's a true story uh, about a sketch artist, which uh, started off as a love story, which then kind of molded into how he battled grief. And amongst all other things that came about <laughs> during his life. And it starts back in, you know, the 1880s. Uh, which I love the attire, the set locations and stuff of this era. A huge fan of it. And, um, you know, just kind of following his life. And it's a very interesting thing because one thing uh, that he is, uh, Louis Wayne, if you've never heard of him, which I've never heard of him, so all of this was all new to me. But uh, the biggest thing that he is um, accredited for is his art style. He used cats, cats, which was always, you know, considered to be, you know, animals of the gods. But he more or less, you know, humanized, normalized cats where they were just any regular, you know, beings. But, you know, and they, and they had a lot of similarities as to what humans did, you know, clumsy, uh, you know, uh, you know, courageous at times, all sorts of different things. And because of his love for cats, because of what cat did for him. They were the subject of his art, and thus he sort of created the, the cat style, which if you ever see caricatures or whatever of cats or whatnot, it's all because of him. At least that's what they accredited as to. So it's really interesting because we see him go on an adventure of, you know, trying to better his craft, uh, you know, uh, trying to maintain a relationship. Um, and you know his love interest and then his family having all sorts of different things and we're just seeing him age over time um, you know as all this is going on so he had a really really full life and he made a huge impact into um, not just his society but in art period so uh, that was really cool uh, first of all Benedict's performance is really good very stellar as you would expect uh, he really uh, especially as he gets to old man Louis, <laughs> I think uh, Benedict really brings it. Uh, so I was really, um, I was, I was, I was really fond of his performance in this as well. And then I, again, I love the status of this era. I love that the the film was shown in a one to one ratio. So like bot, so like I feel like that added like an extra layer of like aesthetics to it. So I appreciated that as well. Um, and then again, I, I it just really grew my appreciation uh, for cats and and for art. So yes, if you are a lover of toe beans, then this film is going to drive you insane and filled with love because there's so many different cats in this film and you were just like, wow, I don't know how I'm gonna make it through this film. Like there's so many, you know, you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna start, you're gonna start wishing you could somehow get a couple of them uh, in, in 4D, 4D apps and so you could be able to, to pet some of them because there's so many different cats and it's so cute or whatnot. Um, but yeah, you know, talking about his performance and kind of circling back to the emotionally driven performance. Also, there's a lot of like mental triggers and things that goes on. So he's clicking on and off in certain scenes really good. Like sometimes he's super triggered, so he's amped, and then sometimes it's really subtle and emotional. And I think he's just, he does it really, really good. Um, and you know, the character itself, the story, I mean, he really goes through a really full life story of different things, some issues with his family, with death, uh, you know, with tragedy, vast amounts of tragedy. And, you know, yeah, and I think when you really look back at the story, it's really a story about survival and leaving the legacy. And it's, it's totally a feel good story. It's a feel, tons of feel good moments in it. So, um, and then you wanna be sure to stay 
uh, tune all the way through the credits because then you get to get a display of his art which is really good and then you're gonna be like oh i do recognize this style of art and this is who you can accredit uh of creating that style so so totally you know uh, and also i should emphasize the electrical life part of this he and, and i think it's a really unique thing about how he explained how electricity works within like humans and what does that mean you know a lot of us talk about energy but i love how he depicts what electric means uh to to life and to society and i think that's something you should pay attention to once you watch this film so totally a lot of good tidbits in this film i um, mean just appreciation of a person you may not be familiar with so and i know that's what i feel about it it's like okay cool you know it's cool to know a little bit of backstory about this style of art when you see it and the Benedict Cumberbatch is just a fantastic uh, actor so you know you knew if anybody could handle a role such as this you know it, it, it would be him so but totally check it out it's the electric life of Louis Wayne uh, again it was shown at Toronto International Film Festival was not sure about its release but keep an eye out for it definitely definitely keep an eye out for it it's about two hours long it's a lot it's almost you know, it's a true story so you know they got to get all the details in there it's a lot but i tell you that the pacing uh it changes a few times so like you know it feels like you're just watching different chapters indeed you are watching different chapters of his life and that's how you continue to, to stay interested throughout the entire film but yeah folks check it out jump in the comments let me know your thoughts about it and as always stay tuned for more reviews very soon